This right here is the Creality K2 Plus 3D printer and with the CFS module on top, it's the K2 Plus combo. This is currently Creality's biggest flagship model that enables a straight out of the box multicolor 3D printing at a very large scale, to be specific, a 350 millimeter cube and at a very high speed and at a very, very low noise level thanks to these step servo motors. Gorgeous touch screen for controlling it, all housed inside of a massive and sturdy matrix frame with great looking see-through glass panels on the sides and on the top. This is a beast and you would not expect how affordable it actually is. The base price point is sub 1500 USD. So much value right there, it is impressive on all levels. So yeah, looks and sounds amazing, right? But is it actually that good? Well, let's find out. New drip. Got the new drip from Creality, the K2 Plus Combo 3D printer. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. Yeah, now let's check it out. So here we go with the main box, 55 kilograms, truly a heavy hitter and another box, five kilograms. So let me show you all the sides. So up here we have this side as well as this with the small print, hyper ABS and the last one and the printer itself. Look at that beautiful K2 plus combo. We do have two carrying handles on the side, but it's really hard to carry. But we do have a really nice packaging that we will check out in just a bit because we can just lift up this top compartment. It's a great box concept. And the last side right there with the company details. Yeah, now let's unbox all of that. And right here on the top side, we have the unboxing tutorial. As I said, great packaging. And as you can see, the top box was no problem whatsoever. And the larger one, you can just lift it up. And there we go, absolutely massive padding all the way around. And on the top, we have all the accessories and we actually, we have this insert and we can just pull it all out just like that. Really great. Additionally, we will get two rolls of filament, hyper PLA in blue and red, more padding in here and more. The upper compartment is fixed inside. So next we need to actually pull it out. So now I can also remove the wrap. Wow, this printer is massive. Wow. Look at the size of this thing. This is incredible. So now we can pull off all these tapes. Wow. Now we can actually start to remove this bracket. Okay, that's for later. For this, we simply need a hex key. And uh, just like that, we can remove the screws. One right there, right there. And now the last two screws. Now this bracket will come off and two more down here. And there we go. Now we can take this one out and the upper bracket. It's only for transport as well as this one right there. So let's remove it as well. There we have it. And more padding. Two more rows. Black and white PLA. So let's get it all out. And there we go. Also in here, pull this one off as well. There we go. Yeah, and that pretty much concludes the unboxing and part of the setup. Wow, what a beast. So yeah, next, let's check out all the accessories and the manual. So there we go, a table full of accessories. Let's start with the glass plate right there, still wrapped. Then right here, gorgeous display with the warning note. And right here with the connector, of course, we will get a cable for the power outlet. Then right here, of course, the spool holder. A really nice touch is also this tool case, which is looking really nice and that's extremely handy to have. So check it out inside. Here we have a really precise cutting tool, super comfortable for cutting the PLA, a scraper, glue and even a little bit set, hex keys, really just a great assortment of tools. And in here we also have the USB drive right there, regular USB stick. Really love to see that. Also a nice add-on is this filament swatches kit and in here we just have an assortment of all the filaments from Creality. Really nice to see. Cables and tubing inside here. Everything is nicely labeled so the screen base and we also have the quad filament selector right there. Here the buffer screws and the actual unboxing wrench. A really nice looking 0.4 millimeter nozzle and also inside here bonus accessories and there is really a wide array of replacement parts. Four spools of hyper PLA and before we get to the filament holder let's check out the paperwork. Quality certificate with this on the back. After sales service and warranty card. 
and the quick installation guides for the K2 Plus and the CFS module, both in multi-language, two and this right there, and for the printer, this. Here, number two, the packing list, the toolbox, unboxing, as well as the setup and specs. And the rest is already multi-language. Oh, and also an assortment of stickers right there. And now lastly, we can open it up like so. And in here we have space for all the four rolls. We'll get another tool right there, this little blower. So let's check it out from the bottom because that's super interesting Four nice rubber feet. And here the outlet for the four filament strings. And here on the back, we also have a sticker with the specs. So yeah, let's put it all together. The whole setup was much simpler and much faster than expected. Setting up the K2 Plus was as simple as removing a few screws and then transforming it to the combo with the CFS on top, just hooking up a few cables, turning it on and letting it do the self-check, auto-leveling and all of that good stuff. And here we are fully set up. I just put in the rolls, inserted the filament and the rest was automatically done. It's all now registered right there. These rolls have RFID chips, so the order of the color won't matter. It will recognize them automatically, but we can also modify the rolls if you have generic PLA without an RFID chip. So really that's it. This holder is not needed and just a few cables on the back and that's it. And the craziest part is with the filament buffer on the back, we actually can hook up up to four CFS modules for up to six in colors that's completely crazy done with the unboxing and with the setup and now let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview what an absolute beast the k2 plus combo that's a massive printer truly a flagship really nice door every detail super well made extremely large build volume in here with one cfs up to four colors and also the screen, as well as the responsiveness. I mean, the screen is so high resolution, it's looking like a smartphone screen. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and with that said, let's take a close look. Let's start at the top with the CFS. We also have a display in here showing us the room temperature as well as the humidity. We have the indicator lights right there, one for each spool, really well made from all sides. Here on the back we have the cables that hook up to the printer that will also power the CFS. We can open it up by unlocking both sides and we can open up the lid. This is a waterproof seal so in here we have a very low humidity thanks to the two bags inside here that will pull out the humidity inside this box. That's great for PLA and for all sorts of other filaments. On top we have the glass plate installed for the CFS to rest on. Again, the display looks really nice. We will check that out in a bit when we check out the operating system. Glass door absolutely beautiful with a really cool hidden hinge system right there in the door. Absolutely dope. In here we also have further notices and also we can easily remove the build plate right there. It's magnetic and we do have the end stops right there for absolutely easy and perfect alignment every time. Two lead screws for the build plate and all in all four axes, super precise. Here we have the filament ejector right there. It will rub it off and then it will just fall out the back. And the extruder itself looks absolutely next level. We also have a self-tensioning belt system. It's looking absolutely incredible. Also this really dope looking sticker after closing up the door. We can also check out the rubber feet. Really nice. I have it on my roller board for a better overview. And lastly on the side we have the USB input, the flap right there, RFID for the spool. Really nice brand on both sides. Quality logo. And on the back the filament buffer as well as the ejector and really nice and powerful ventilation. And here we can also hook up the ethernet right there. All in all, an epic machine with a super sturdy frame, nice glass windows all the way around. Oh, and not to forget, we also have a camera right there. And with this, we also get a live video feed from the slicer. So yeah, that's a next level combo right there. Not bad, right? So let's check out the operating system and then of course test it. Screensaver right there, to wake it up just tap it once. We have the home right there with all the temperature overviews as well as the fan settings right there and the lighting. So we can turn it off 
uh, on right there. Then we have the fan control, we have the filament overview, we have the print settings right there and the calibration. Then we have a few local files. We also can access the USB drive. So any USB stick, you can simply put it in here, just like that. So we got the note. Oh, there is nothing on it. Okay, and we also have the history right there. Then the settings where we can even set up the screen brightness, screen off, language selectings, all of that good stuff. Even an expert mode right on. And we also have the network with the Wi-Fi system right there and the account. And then right here, we have a QR code for the wiki, error history and fault reporting. An absolutely beautiful screen and in combination with the CFS, it's just epic and talking about the cfs for the creality pla they usually come with rfid chips they will get recognized automatically but we can also first of all inspect them and we can also edit the settings for each filament spool if you have generic ones so yeah with that said we can actually do some test prints as you can see we have three of them let's start with the simple one and we can also select the color let's do it in black and here we have the selector that's so cool. So yeah, let's just do it. So there we have all the prints. As you heard, it is very, very silent while being extremely fast. And the print quality is absolutely incredible. We have the multicolor Benchy and the logo. But let's start here with the single color Benchy right there. Absolutely perfect from the bottom to the top and virtually no stringing as well. So it is extremely well calibrated straight out of the box. Same for the multicolor Benchy. So as you can see, perfect layer connections as well as adhesion even between the colors and again the bench itself with all the overhang prints and all of that good stuff literally perfect quality so whether it's on a small scale or when it's filling up the whole build volume you will get amazing quality as you can see right here and the last print is this logo right there with a white base a red outline and the gray logo itself absolutely flawless first layer as well as i mean look at that absolutely incredible as well as the top layer and the waste is also kept very minimal it is doing a fantastic job at reducing the waste material and this is also hollow so even the waste tower is looking very very well <laughs> inside of the creality slicer you can also easily modify the colors yourself and send it over LAN or over the cloud or just print it over the USB stick I love the touch screen and the CFS just worked straight out of the box no manual calibration or nothing like that amazing quality and a massive thumbs up from my side So as you saw, excellent build quality as well as hardware with a really cool and futuristic design. The setup was straightforward and much easier and faster than expected. You can get printing in no time with four colors and you can combine up to four CFS in total. This is a crazy system with an auto calibration. It's so convenient. Just press start. It will do everything by itself and the CFS is fully automatic as well. So many epic features and capabilities for such an amazing price point. It is so much better than a competition, especially in this price segment. 
top tier value right here. I'm absolutely amazed. Outstanding operating system as well as the slicer. Creality just always brings amazing value to the table with great looking devices and a top of the line ecosystem. And again, what sets this printer apart massively is the absolutely ginormous 350 millimeter cubed build volume. Of course, the amazing price point, base price sub 1,500 bucks. The operating system, it has the core XY speed. It's crazy to watch, but it is still extremely quiet. Thanks to the step servo motors that are not only reliable and fast, but as you heard, also surprisingly quiet. You can sleep next door to this printer, no issues whatsoever, making massive overnight prints possible without any issues, headaches, or any hassle. And the active chamber temperature system also enables it to handle the most challenging engineering materials with ease. So all in all, a very advanced system and definitely the way to go if you want to level up and upscale your 3D printing game or if you want to start big. And all in all, the K2 Plus combo is a definitely grippy. Check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.